What's up boys, my name is Joe and today I got a video for you that's pretty interesting and educational, but it's probably not for everybody. As a lot of you know, the show Wicked Tuna catches giant bluefin tuna. And what we did the other day was catch a giant bluefin tuna. The biggest fish I've ever seen actually. So this is not that video that we're catching it. If you wanna watch that video, you need to click right there. But if you've already seen that, then thank you for coming back. And also, this is gonna be the process of how we get the highest dollar per pound um, through taking care of our product, swimming it, bleeding it. This is probably the most in-depth video I've done in terms of how they process it at the dock. I mean, it's it's a lot more, I ask a lot more questions. I learned a lot while filming this video. Also, I talked to my good friend, Chloe, who is doing her thesis on the genetics of bluefin tuna. And we look for the ear bone called the otolith of the bluefin tuna so you can properly age them. And I learned a lot doing that as well. It's really interesting, but sit back, relax, enjoy. Boys today. If you missed the last one. We got a big old giant bluefin strapped to the boat. If you missed the last video, it was us catching them. Um, we're here in the Outer Banks, one of my favorite places in the world, catching my favorite fish in the world. So uh, I'm about to take you guys through the process of how we get these fish ready to sell. The next hour, hour and a half is going to be the reason why we get the dollar per pound that we do. We got to swim the fish, get all the lactic acid out of it, kind of revive them, um, and then we're going to bleed them. Each of those processes take about 45 minutes. Uh, and then we're gonna bring them in the boat. Are we gonna, are we gonna saw them? Or we're just gonna take them straight there. We're close enough that it'll take us, you know, way more time to saw his gill plate off and gut them. We're right offshore. It's a little foggy, so you can't see. We're about four miles from the beach right now. So, you know, this stuff here in Moorhead City is just like king fishing on steroids. Just big giant man Hayden. We call them shad here. We call them pogies back in Jacksonville. And uh, you're slow bump trolling for these things, but with 80 wides and really big fish. Well, you can't see behind me. Where are we? I'll just show you. We're about to get boarded by the Coast Guard. So that's fun. Good thing we're all legal. Hopefully, he doesn't run over our fish. Yep. Well, it's three seconds later, and they asked us if we had our inspection done and we got it done in February so they decided not to waste their time and also we have a tuna too I don't think they want to mess with that so I guess that saves us an hour <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <You ain't> kidding. <laughs> thank you for risking your lives for us yeah, yeah. thank you thanks for being out here psych you're getting boarded yeah well we're coming back they're coming back for us they thought we were fishing and they didn't want to mess with us but we told them they can go ahead and uh, give us a look just don't come on this side no problem. We thought you guys were actively reeling in once. Uh, no, we're swimming them over here. What's the last time you guys reported by the Coast Guard? Um, so we have a safety inspection uh, in February. Okay, are you a charter or a commercial boat? Commercial, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'll, get on, I'll get on board. Sure. How about if I send two of us over just yep. for training? Yep, come on. We'll be quick. We need the other one. Thank you, guys. No problem. I'm uh, officer. With the Coast Guard, you the captain? The Moran, yes, sir. Okay, nice to meet you guys. You got some nice rods, I see you're towing a fish. So, awesome, yeah, a lot of boats are catching fish out here. Yeah, they're doing pretty good here lately. Nice. What All right. see, we got a lot of jackets up here, a little light, hard to find. I do see this, that's good. So we can we can skip all that, just do a quick safety, a quick safety run through of the, the spot flares. check. They got flares there. Um, Life rafts in the... Uh, E-perb up top, you guys have uh, open, open the door, door back right there. No, we don't have that. We're we're not a documented vessel, so yeah. we got a E-perb right there. It's nice to have, though. I like that. Uh, yeah. The life chat, or the whatchamacallit's in there, the life oh, raft. raft. yeah. Cool. Uh, we got four survival suits. I know we don't need those, but we got those. <laughs> awesome. Good for you guys. Uh, Do you have an old form uh, that would get us out of here a lot quicker? An uh, old uh, boarding uh, form? Well, I don't think we have that. Really. If not, it's fine. Zero. We'll just fill out a new one. We do. You right. It's one of those gold sheets or white sheets. It probably, that's probably the only thing we have is probably the safety expense. you have a picture of it? Do you mind if I film? Oh, that's fine. Okay, cool. Thank you. Uh, what uh, what'd you guys catch the fish Special on? Safety uh, uh, live pokey. Pokey. Those things swimming in there. Hard cool. Handle. Big shad. You that just got it. one bluefin today? Yeah. yeah. What size is it? Over over he is. Probably over 100. Yeah. 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 See yeah. probably uh, 105 inches. Is him? Oh, yeah. I guess it's 100. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 Where are you guys out of? Jacksonville, Florida. Jacksonville, Florida. Nice. Not, not oh, wow. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We're Florida boys. <laughs> are you, are you, uh, Joe? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> oh god, no! Don't do this to me. No, yeah, really, I, I think I follow you. No yeah. shit. Yeah, man. I appreciate you follow that. us all the way out here in the middle of the ocean <laughs> to see cool, him. No, nah, you had that. Way video, to go, uh, Joe. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> Please don't it. post that. I'm gonna look like a fanboy. No, it's no, funny. I'm really posting it. You're gonna be in the video now. I appreciate that. Cool videos. I appreciate it. Look at Joe VT or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. He, he's been Ooh, he hates it. So he hates it. <laughs> you hate it? Is this your brother? No. A little brother he never had or wanted. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Thank you guys. You have a safe train. Yeah, thank you guys. I'll be safe out here. Enjoy the rest of your day. See you guys. Good meeting you. Have a good one. Good. Clear, clear. All right, so we're about to bleed this fish. Um, what I like to do is. Uh, go underneath his gills, like even with the pectoral fin. Yes, pec fin, right? Yeah. So even with that, that bloodline goes all the way down the fish. You can't really see it, but I guess, oh, you can. It starts, I'm, so I'm gonna insert the knife right about there. And this bloodline goes all the way down the center, right where that color changes. So I'm gonna hit it on the inside of the gill and cut it the whole way around with a very sharp serrated knife. That one right down. These women do look These women good. Here we go. Nope. His health is about to decline very rapidly. All right, buddy. You're about to get real lightheaded. Sorry about your luck. Oh, come here. Uh, a lot of blood. I wonder if we, I don't know if we can be able to flip him over or not. <laughs> right, right. Come here, bud. Yeah. There he goes. Popped it. All right, bleeding good. Okay, so he's bleeding really good. You lowered him back down a little bit and get that blood or the water pumping through so this heart stays pumping it for as long as possible. In about 10 or 15 minutes, we're gonna go in and recut it because they, uh, they just clot you know, to regular wounds. So we're gonna go in and recut it a couple times. Do this for about 45 minutes. But I need to address this real quick for all the peoples at home. The most common comment I've ever gotten on my channel is don't the sharks come up and eat it or look at it when you're bleeding beside the boat because all that blood. No, no they don't. Things eight and a half feet long and six, 700 pounds. Like there's not many sharks that can come up and try to take a bite out of it. Maybe a, gig maybe a great white, they have seen great whites here. Maybe about a 500 pound mako, but they're not gonna come to this boat. They don't wanna be around the boat. They don't wanna be around something that big. They don't wanna eat stuff that's their size. They wanna eat stuff that's smaller than their size. <laughs> He's heavy. Come here, come here, come here. I know, what the heck? Okay, open your gill a little bit. Thanks, buddy. Oh. Yeah, shaking them blood clots out. Poop, poof, poof. Yeah, clean real good. Yeah, all those clots out there. All right. That should be good. Oh, get on the other side. Did you pull it? All right. Nope. All right. That's some good flow. Good flow, Cap. Good flow. Look at him, man. Well, he did now. He's really coming to cut into it.
Okay. Ready? Now I'm going to the house. Oh, swimmer. Oh, God. I got to get this in the eye Okay. Okay, okay. Perfect. Clip. There you go. Ready? Yeah, hold on, wait. What side that we needed to do? We need to do this side down. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, sliding. There you go. Slide right in. Oh yeah. Ooh. He's starting. Oh, he's doing. You're getting skinny for us. Yeah, you got it. Hey, when we do this, let's pull it back with him whenever we can. Oh, you have to turn. You have to turn him. Yeah. There you go. I know we need hey, to stop bringing back. Grab, grab the bag and bring the bag with us. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, One, two, three. Ah, that bag ain't going to happen. No, the bag's not moving. Heifer. Bag out, we'll leave the tail sticking out the back. Hear me? Yeah. Well, let's try to. Get something in there. Yeah. I don't know what to get in there. So, the corner of the bag. You can't move the bag. Uh, How about that board? Where's that? Here. Here, here. That works. Okay. Okay, go. See if we can drag him a little further, Ramy. Huh? Get him up a little further. Alright. Ready? He can just lay it across top. It's a big fish, man. All tucked in to the dock we go. Woo! We're at the dock waiting our turn. Captain Bryson went and fished with them yesterday. They caught a fish yesterday and took some of the tail pieces. I made some poke. So this is officially a catch and eat. I guess, not exactly a cook, but. What are you putting this? Just soy sauce and some other stuff. Looks really good. Freaking vibrant red color. How'd you like it? Good. They're very good. Kind of get the flavors you want, you chuck it in there. And... Yeah, there you go. Tough collar. I'll tell you, I had to cut on that tail a bunch. <laughs> yeah, I bet. That's good stuff. We didn't have a rod, right rod for it. Yeah. I can recover more quickly than the amputating. So, how about the amputating? How about Lower jaw? Yeah. Special measurement. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's big, John. Give me the 110. 112 and a half. Oh my god! 112! Give me some Johnny! Nice work, buddy! Yeah. Out of way, Johnny! Hey, Ravage! 112! Oh my god! Yeah. 
big damn fish. That's a big fish right there. <laughs> It's actually hot today, so they actually have to cover it up so it doesn't get dried out and baked. That's when the sheet comes in. What do you think? Uh, yeah, so some fat. It's good. Some fat? Yeah. The color looks okay? The color is okay. Yeah. This is completely no fat, right? Yeah, no fat? Yeah, there's no fat. Right? Where do you look for to find the fat? This for like this, this right here? You see that white? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. okay. Right there. So, okay, that's how you... Very cool. The vein looking stuff. Very interesting. Cool, yeah, that's cool. how cool it is. Yeah. Oh, wow. That, that yeah. one. Oh, yeah. Is it there? Bit deep? No, it's right. It's, it's okay. almost through. Yeah, man. You're getting that dark now. Yeah. yeah. Not oh. like the other one. Sure. Thank you very much. Here it comes. Is it? Oh yeah, man. Oh, oh, yeah. Bluefish. Yeah. Is it a bluefish or a big pogey? Yeah, big no, pogey. Oh, oh. Big pogey pogey. Big shad. Yeah. yeah. It's too much. Oh, yeah. Oh, yummy. That's it, man. There ain't nowhere. That other one yesterday made that look like nothing. The fish they sold yesterday had about 50 of them. In his stomach. I'll show you a picture or a video of it right now. It's insane. Oh, you couldn't fit one more. I mean, probably had 30 pounds of shad in there. Yeah, I found out one of my relatives a long time ago. Charles Dalton. Uh, we barred him for the <laughs> Hello. What do you take from that? I can oh. see in the brown meat inside, inside brown or not, you know? It's, uh, meat spread like this, a little bit brown inside, in you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this kind of, it's okay, but eggs tight, you know, like right. this. Right. Yeah. I gotcha. So, we'll see tomorrow, we can see more detail. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, we'll cool down a little bit, you know? You got any fat? Yeah, some fat, some yeah. Fat. Not too much, but That's some fat, yeah. It's good. I guess, uh, I guess you don't get too much fat here, do you? I like fat one, but... Yeah, a couple. Yeah. yeah. But this is no fat, completely no fat, you know? This is completely red meat, right? Nothing okay. Good, right? But this is more here, right? yep. here like this. More color, you know? like more colors. like what color, yeah. so, Hey, what's up, bud? Yeah. You're just trying to scrape out all the silver skin, silver lining? Yeah, just making it pretty. Yeah. Just presentations, everything. That's right. Try not to leave anything that looks. Right. All this black shit, you know, all that blood. It's all bloodline, right? That black yeah. stuff? Yeah. Then these nets up here. Right. You know. Oh, wow. It's got a couple layers. Yeah, there's three. Really? Yeah. 
It's got so three. there's one, and then this, and then this one we leave. Oh, okay. That protects the meat under it. Yeah. Wow. What kind of the linings? Oh, yeah. Triple protection. Oh. Pretty amazing, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Shoulder deep in them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing right now? I'm cutting the stomach off so it's out of the way. Because <laughs> it's a. Stomachs, I hate these big ones. Probably I know, big they're one so tough. Too. My last video, people gave me so much because they kept on saying my knife was dull. No, this is a 800, 700 pound fish. They got really tough stomachs. Yeah. This is, that's a pretty much brand new knife she's holding. So hard to cut through. <laughs> It didn't, didn't even start it. It didn't even, no. <laughs> and by the way, this is Chloe. She's a student at Stanford. Yeah, say hello. Um, it's for my dissertation work. I'm studying bluefin tuna in the Atlantic, where you do a lot of tagging, and then I'm also sampling, getting the otoliths out to age them, and then fin clips for genetics. There you go. Look at that. That's the ear bone for people, for lesser folk like me. So how do you get the ear bone out? Well, it's pretty difficult in a fish this size. Yeah. Um, they sit right underneath the brain, so you have to cut into the hardest part of its skull. Oh it's, boy. It's not fun. <laughs> <laughs> she was complaining about the fish that John got yesterday, which was a 109. This is a 112 and a half. She was not thrilled to try to get this out there. It broke the sawzall blade yesterday. Oh, it did? Yeah. Oh, it was their fish that actually broke it? Yeah, it was their fish. <laughs> Bloody on no, through there again. They've gotten lots of blood on it. Yeah, if I can get this piece off, I can show you better. Okay. So I'm not quite deep enough. The brain's right in there. Ooh. And they sit right there. Are two little cavities that they sit in under there, but I'm gonna have to make another cut. Really teeny tiny. <laughs> I should have filmed a smaller one. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Okay, I might be able to reach him now. On a smaller one, if I can get more out of the way, it's easier to see. Is that it? No. It might take me a little bit to find it. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to have to edit some stuff out. Sometimes the pressure of the saw just like breaks them and shatters oh, really? them, but it might just be a little. Nope, that's more nervous tissue there. Let's see, I might have to make another cut. Let me try this one. There's okay. one. Nice. I might have blown up the other one. Very cool. So, yeah, from that we can tell they have girth rings just like trees. And we can figure out how old they are by counting the rings that form each year. That's really interesting. Yeah. She said earlier by the length of the fish, the chart said uh, it's 19. 19 years old. Yeah, we so it was a 19 year old fish. So. so thank you very much for showing us, Chloe. You're welcome. Why don't you just get it out one of those three holes right there? <laughs> so there's the brains in there. Oh, I got to zoom in. I got to zoom in. And then they. Um, <laughs> Point me at the brain? The brains sits in there and then the otoliths, the ear bones sit right under it but oh. usually pretty far back so oh, okay. on a fish this size they're a lot harder to find i got you Let's there's your holes it. right there how big are their brains pretty small very this small size. i mean not very big maybe the size of a marble a marble yeah a marble that's it a tiny bro how does it how does it work a that's a really small thing for a large animal Okay, moment of truth. I learned that the bluefin's brains are the size of a marble. Really? Yeah. Isn't that wild? That yeah, is wild. I mean, you think the way they can find them bait. Kind of right. <laughs> a lot prettier. I don't know. A lot How much of a 500 there, Captain James? One? I'd say 605. 605? I'd say 6. I'd be sad. 601. 601. 601. I'm locking my vote in.
622. 622, Bill says. I like it. Yeah. Uh, 623. 623. What I say 622? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Hey, it's good. 623. It's shit, bro. It's like you do this for a living. That's yeah. pretty crazy. I that's pretty good. So if you don't mind me asking, where do these uh, the plugs this size usually end up? They get freighted across the country, or are they? It's across New York, Boston. Oh, okay. Not too big, you know. Not big. Yeah, it's Not hard to big. move a core that big. Where do you think it'll end up, in your expert opinion? Domestic. Dom domestic somewhere. He said, he said, if they're too big to fly, usually, you know, New York or Boston, but he said that one's too big for that. Yeah. That's a big fish. Thank you. <laughs> what are you grabbing now, Chloe? Fin sample. Fin sample. Fin sample. That one on the ground. Like that. You're good. That is a big four. Yeah, it is, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've never seen one take up that much space. I know, that's the whole mat. Oh, it's a big fish. Wow, it's on the bottom. It's on the bottom? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. The, the pin sample? Oh, so we oh. can use. <laughs> we get a. My hands are all bloody. We get a fin clip for genetics and we can tell whether it comes from the Mediterranean or the Gulf of Mexico stock. Oh, cool. Yeah. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, as you guys can see, I get a lot of. Another issue with comments, imagine that. A lot of people saying how terrible it is and that we're just contributing to the endangerment of bluefin tuna. We've gotten checked by NOAA and the Coast Guard today. This is the most highly watched fishery in the entire world, this East Coast bluefin fishery. And the quotas are set to a very specific level and everybody is watched very closely. Hold on, all right. And everybody is watched extremely closely so it's this is a you know a no nonsense fishery it's everybody has to follow the rules because there is no other option you're just going to get caught if you try to do something that's not legal so you can say all you want that we're contributing to the endangerment but noah is has done a really good job of regulating the fish stock and regulating the quota so i don't feel bad I feel feel a little bit bad Boys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe. There's gonna be another video of us catching a giant bluefin tuna, and it's gonna be, I believe it's gonna be a compact of the last video I told you to watch at the beginning of the video, and this video. So it's gonna be, a, it's a shorter fight, so I thought I might as well just do it all in one. Um, we're gonna be catching another giant bluefin tuna, taking it to the dock, processing it, and um, it's a really cool video, and, and uh, I've already started working on it, and I'm really liking how it looks right now. If you haven't seen any other of my Bluefin content, you like this one, right at the end of this is going to be three other videos that I've done in the past, um, the past seasons of Bluefin Tuna. So if you like that content, there's more of that to come on my channel. Uh, also, there's another video coming of us commercial fishing for uh, Big Gag Grouper and Mutton Snapper. So if you're one of those guys, a meathead like me, and like that, I want to subscribe for that as well. Alrighty boys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, thank you everybody for the birthday wishes. My birthday was the day after Christmas. Merry Christmas to everybody. And I hopefully I get one more in before the new year. But if not, I will say Happy New Year's to you guys. And I love y'all and I'll see y'all next year. I just tripped over my chair. Goodbye. <laughs>